Hello, we are team AGH from Krakow, Poland. My name is Piotr Radecki and these are my colleagues Michał Antos and Aleksander Szymoński. We are going to present our solution to this year's signal processing cap. We are considering a scenario where signal is transmitted from antenna directly to the user and in addition part of the signal is reflected by IRS. Our goal is to find such IRS configuration that the transmission rate at user is as high as possible. To do that, we have to firstly estimate channels and then maximize rate function. At the beginning, we are introducing some notation. So basically, we are considering linear system, which is dependent on direct channel, channels of the IRS and its configuration, and on transmitted and received frame. Next, the model can be reformulated from affine to linear form. And finally, we are stacking transmitted frames and IRS configurations into a matrix equation. To estimate unknown channels, we can formulate least square problem with the solution to it given by the equation 7. Moreover, we know that filters have just 20 taps in time domain. This can be utilized by making projection of the least square solution on 20 taps. So what did we find out from the first dataset? Well, firstly, we've checked whether phase shift between two IRS states is really pi and whether attenuations introduced by IRS reflection are the same. We did it by running gradient minimization of problem 12, assuming phase shifts and attenuations of states represented as 1 and minus 1 are unknown. Every time we've got the result that phase shift is pi and attenuations are the same. So, without loss of generality, we can assume that there is no attenuation and 1 means 0 degrees phase shift and minus 1 means 180 degrees phase shift. Since IRS metaatoms are arranged into unknown but regular grid, we've checked whether there is some correlation between channels. After estimating channels with least square method run on first dataset, we have found that there are 64 groups of 64 elements for which filters are very similar. From that, we can deduce that IRS is shaped 64 by 64. Let's call each group as column because that's probably the structure. Next, we have found that every configuration appears twice in dataset 1. From that, we can estimate noise because the only difference between received signals for the same configurations is noise. So, estimated value of the noise is following and we use it during rate maximization. What is more, every configuration has its pair of inverted configuration. From that, direct path can be estimated. But mm, we didn't find it useful. Least score method can be utilized to estimate age matrix. Unfortunately, this problem is underdefined since there are more channels to estimate than pilot transmissions. Utilizing correlation between channels, one possible approach would be to estimate just 65 channels, 64 for each column and one from di for direct path. We can do that by adding up values of configuration vector in each column, as we can see on the right hand side. The problem is then overdefined. Assuming that channels are perfectly correlated, this is the best unbiased linear estimator and will be later on referred as blue. But we also tried something else. But let's not assume total channels correlation at this point. The other nonlinear method, is, which is actually our approach, is firstly simply to estimate G matrix, which is to estimate IRS channels without direct path. The problem is then well defined. Next, we can observe that IRS configuration for first channel is always set as 1 so we can never see how change git affects the received signal. What is estimated there is direct path, since so-called configuration from direct path is always one. Then we assume that channel for the first element is the same as channel for the element below, since we don't really have that first channel estimated. After that, we cut filters to 20 taps in time domain. But there are some problems. Some elements are estimated to carry too much power. We exclude those filters that have power higher than 1.5 times average power in the column and put average of filters in column there. After that, we can see that some filters are wrongly estimated. On the right hand side, we can see reference least square estimate from the first dataset. Filters are quite correlated there, but in our estimation, they are not. So, to achieve correlation, we calculate average of all filters in the column and keep only this value as a one filter per each column. So, why don't we stick to the first blue estimation, which assumed one filter per column at the stage of least square method? Well, firstly, we checked rates that we obtained on preliminary submission and rates produced by both estimators for the same configurations. 
Moreover, we compare those estimates to reference one from entire dataset one. In both cases, nonlinear estimator turned out to be better than blue. Not much, but visibly. Our next purpose is to find best IRS configuration. We utilize two different methods for this goal. The first one is method based on gradient ascent. We are performing entire procedure presented in the following slides, find times for different initial values chosen from pilot signals. Then we pick the best result. Firstly, let's assume that theta is complex vector with each element's absolute value equal to one, belonging to continuous domain. We define following cost function, which maximizes power of the signal and penalizes high imaginary path. We are using vanilla gradient ascent with one slight modification. We normalize elements values after each iteration. In the next step, we perform quantization. We assign sign of the real part to elements with high absolute value of the real part. We also choose 12 so-called hesitant elements. We check all two to the power of 12 configurations for them and pick results with the best rate. Last step of the algorithm is fine tuning. We divide columns into group of two. Then we perform following sweep algorithm. Firstly, we check all configurations of a particular group and choose best. Then we jump to the next group and repeat algorithm. We do the procedure 20 times or till no improvement is reachable. The other method we designed is an evolutionary algorithm. In the algorithm, we are looking for solutions that are vectors of 64 elements that contain one or negative one. Those elements represent the state of a metaatom. At the beginning, a set of random solutions called population is created. Size of the population is 25 and stays constant throughout the algorithm. Several processes take place during an iteration. Firstly, in a selection, we randomly pick one or two solutions called parents. Based on them, new solutions called children will be created. Secondly, we have evolution. It can be either crossover that needs two parents and occurs only 10% of the time, or mutation that needs one parent and occurs 90% of the time. The goal of crossover is to mix the solutions. It divides parents and combines them together in a different order. Here, one or negative one symbol represents the state of 16 columns of an IRS. Mutation takes one or two elements from a solution and multiplies them by negative one, effectively flipping the state of 64 metatoms in a column. Lastly, a newly created solution is evaluated with respect to the rate it achieves. If it's better than any existing solution, it will come into the population at the expense of the worst solution there. Entire process repeats 3000 times. In the end, out of 25 solutions, the best one is determined. The algorithm converges relatively quickly and very fine changes are made from the thousandth operation onwards. Our approach is summarized on the block diagram that represents the way information from the dataset outputs the proposed solution. Blue block symbolizes the non-linear estimator of the channels which we presented. Furthermore, there are two independent methods that are trying to find the best IRS configuration. In the end, using estimated channels and noise, we compute the transmission rates for both configurations and select a better one. In conclusion, we started by confirming the same behavior for each meta-atom state. Moving on, we identified correlation between channels. We have 64 groups of 64 metaatoms. Then we created two estimators. One of them was clearly better. Using this nonlinear estimator, we designed two optimization methods, gradient ascent and evolutionary algorithm. Final result comes from choosing a better configuration. In the end, we, we would like to thank the organizers and all other competitors for such an amazing event.